Yeah, what, Paul? Yeah, Rich Eisen's on the line. He needs to talk to you. He said it's important. Yeah, Rich. Uh, Dan, I was on Twitter after our conversation because, you know, I'm a man of the people. I like to connect. Yeah. Um, and a lot of your listeners in Dan Nation were wondering why I have not given sort of a phrase that pays, a little code word to drop in the pregame show like I did last year. Well, I just thought you cap. were really busy here. And well, no, I mean, I've got a bigger platform now. Yes. CBS. Yes. I mean, we've got a hit in the middle of the CBS pregame show tonight. Um, and I'm going to drop the word dreamy. So this will be uh, a cool. Tonight. Yeah, you're going to say dreamy because. Dreamy. But we all know what I'm referring to. Of my Jeopardy, Sports Jeopardy poster. Yes. That's all around Los Angeles. Yes. That's the one. Now I'm going to tune in tonight. <laughs> tonight. So okay. you will use dreamy. Yes. Somehow, some way. It'll be. It'll in be tonight's working. broadcast. Yes, sir. Not one of the and serious. Got, and, and the hit's only 90 seconds, too. And I got three other analysts. It's going to be tough. Um, there's a degree of difficulty, but one I'm willing to attempt. I always so, like it when you would drop in a word that we mentioned on the show mm-hmm. and the other analysts who are there going, what the hell is he talking about? <laughs> like, why well, would he say will, that? Beat me bringing in grilled cheese last <laughs> year because I said, <laughs> Ron Burgundy wanted me to say grilled cheese for two. <laughs> and in that manner. <laughs> So, I mean, nothing will – we've already pushed that out. <laughs> All right, so tonight, Rich yeah. will drop the word dreamy, dreamy. in uh, a sentence form. Yes, indeed. And it'll be uh, in regards to my eyes on the Sports Jeopardy poster. <laughs> yes, that's however you wish to interpret that. Thank yeah. you, Rich. Uh, booyah. There you go. There you go.